The hypothetical deductive model or method is a proposed description of scientific method. According to it, scientific inquiry proceeds by formulating a hypothesis in a form that could conceivably be falsified by a test on observable data. A test that could and does run contrary to predictions of the hypothesis is taken as a falsification of the hypothesis. A test that could but does not run contrary to the hypothesis corroborates the theory. It is then proposed to compare the explanatory value of competing hypotheses by testing how stringently they are corroborated by their predictions. Example. One example of an algorithmic statement of the hypothetical deductive method is as follows. 1. Use your experience. Consider the problem and try to make sense of it. Gather data and look for previous explanations. If this is a new problem to you, then move to step 2. 2. Form a conjecture. When nothing else is yet known, try to state an explanation to someone else or to your notebook. 3. Deduce predictions from the hypothesis. If you assume 2 is true, what consequences follow? 4. Test. Look for evidence that conflict with these predictions in order to disprove 2. It is a logical error to seek 3 directly as proof of 2. This formal fallacy is called affirming the consequent. One possible sequence in this model would be 1, 2, 3. If the outcome of 4 holds, and 3 is not yet disproven, you may continue with 3, 4, 1, and so forth, but if the outcome of 4 shows 3 to be false, you will have to go back to 2 and try to invent a new 2, deduce a new 3, look for 4, and so forth. Note that this method can never absolutely verify 2. It can only falsify 2. Discussion. Additionally, as pointed out by Carl Hempel, this simple view of the scientific method is incomplete. A conjecture can also incorporate probabilities, e.g., the drug is effective about 70% of the time. Tests, in this case, must be repeated to substantiate the conjecture. In this and other cases, we can quantify a probability for our confidence in the conjecture itself and then apply a Bayesian analysis, with each experimental result shifting the probability either up or down. Bayes' theorem shows that the probability will never reach exactly 0 or 100%, but it can still get very close to either extreme. See also confirmation holism. Qualification of corroborating evidence is sometimes raised as philosophically problematic. The raven paradox is a famous example. The hypothesis that all ravens are black would appear to be corroborated by observations of only black ravens. However, all ravens are black is logically equivalent to all non-black things are non-ravens. This is a green tree is an observation of a non-black thing that is a non-raven and therefore corroborates all non-black things are non-ravens. It appears to follow that the observation, this is a green tree, is corroborating evidence for the hypothesis, all ravens are black. Attempted resolutions may distinguish non-falsifying observations as to strong, moderate, or weak corroborations. Investigations that do or do not provide a potentially falsifying test of the hypothesis. Evidence contrary to a hypothesis is itself philosophically problematic. Such evidence is called the falsification of the hypothesis. However, under the theory of confirmation holism it is always possible to save a given hypothesis from falsification. This is so because any falsifying observation is embedded in a theoretical background, which can be modified in order to save the hypothesis. Popper acknowledged this but maintained that a critical approach respecting methodological rules that avoided such immunizing stratagems is conducive to the progress of science. Despite the philosophical questions raised, the hypothetical deductive model remains perhaps the best understood theory of scientific method. From the long tradition of empiricism we have inherited the hypothetical deductive model of scientific research. Brody 1993. 86 Citations. Carrot Peter Godfrey Smith Theory and Reality. 236.
Karat Talib 2007 e.g. 58, devotes his chapter 5 to the era of confirmation. Carrot, I believe that we do not know anything for certain, but everything probably. Christian Wiegen's letter to Pierre Perrot, sur la préface de M. Perrot de saint traité de l'origine des Fontaines, 1763, Uvers Completus de Christian Wiegen's, volume 7, 298. Quoted in Jacques Roger, The Life Sciences in 18th Century French Thought, ed. Keith R. Benson and Trans. Robert L. Rich 163. Quotation selected by Bynum and Porter 2005. 317 Weegens 317 No. 4. Carrot as noted by Alice Calapriest The new quotable Einstein Princeton University Press and Hebrew University of Jerusalem, ISBN 0-691-12074-9p. 291. Calapriest denotes this not as an exact quotation, but as a paraphrase of a translation of A. Einstein's Induction and Deduction. Collected Papers of Albert Einstein 7 Document 28, Volume 7 is the Berlin Years, Writings, 1918-1921, A. Einstein, M. Janssen, Schulman, A. L. Eds. Carrot Mersey, Morrow, Carl Gustav Hempel, Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Mersey used the term relative frequency rather than probability. Carrot John N. W. Watkins, Science and Skepticism, 319. Carrot Carla, Popper, Objective Knowledge, pp. 30, 360.